Hello, it's Patrick here, one of the developers on Plasma. A few people were asking about the trailer and so I thought I'd give you a quick peek into how we set up the opening shot. It's important to notice that everything in this shot was set up with in-game tools. It's one of the philosophies that we've always tried to adhere when developing the game. We want to use the tools that are available to players in the sandbox to create the content that we provide. If we have a quick look around here, we can see a bunch of devices that are scattered around. This little guy here is a little wavy robot that gets built. Over here we have a hexapod in the shape of a crab that then curls up into a ball. This is our little rocket that shoots up. Conveyor belt that spews out a cube. A house with a bunch of screens inside and behind here we have the drone and the remote control car. If we take a quick look at the camera controller, this is the most interesting device in the scene. We have two lateral extenders at the bottom here, an orange one and a yellow one, one for each axis, so that we can create a curve pattern that the camera will follow you in its move. The green one is a vertical extender that will lift the camera up as it moves along its path. The blue one is a servo that will rotate it left and right. And the purple one is a hinge that will move the camera up and down. At the back here you can see there's a few transceivers. These send commands to other devices so that we can coordinate the movement while the camera move happens. So let's take a quick look and see what happens. I'll click the button to start a sequence. First things first, a little robot gets built. This is using a replay build system. Our crab starts walking, gets a command to curl up into a ball while the car shoots off. Rocket goes up into space, our conveyor belt is moving there, the drone's coming up, and the camera keeps doing its movement. And the drone freaked out. <laughs> well, I hope that was interesting, a quick sneak peek into how we set up shops for the trailer, and we'll catch up soon.